so hello good evening everyone so today i just want to explain about uh, a new topic uh, that is about uh, something related about pickley center uh, there are two things that i want to give you uh, just an overview uh, maybe it may help you everyone so the first thing is uh, you know i just uh, i'm going to tell you something about uh, deactivating picklist see actually what is this uh, actually you know for example what we used to do in the picklist center you know in employee central whenever you create any custom pick list or anything that is related to your employment objects or person objects or maybe your uh, any mdf related pick list you create actually uh, maybe let us say as for the earlier version we used to do for a person objects and employment objects through legacy pick list area and for a generic pick list that you used to configure through metadata framework but now I think as many of you are aware from 2019 I remember it is from quarter one you know there was a major change that has taken place in our success factors system that that means whatever the configurations that whatever the pick list that we used to configure let us say for employment objects or person objects through a pick list management and uh, whatever the MDF pick list we used to configure through a, uh, let us say through MDF pick list area now what happened from quarter one of 2019 uh, which is a quarter one these all the legacy pick list that means person objects and employment objects related pick list where we used to configure in a pick list management they are all migrated to the generic pick list area so which means what happened at the time we used to configure separately for person objects and employment objects at one area generic objects are like a different area but from quarter one what happened all these pick lists that we are configuring separately now they are migrated to one place like a generic pick list area so now at that time what happened sap has introduced the concept of a pick list center right so in the pick list center you can do anything like you can do manually or you can go to the import and export a data and then you can perform like a pick list uh, like a pick list values and etc but now what happened i'll give a simple example you wanted to configure a corresponding uh, some xyz pick list so when you want to configure with all the corresponding values in the pick list center it can be anything whether it's a person related or employment objects related or generic related one so once you create it and once you configure it you know we used to have a an option called a delete button you know we used to have a, the option called a delete button I'll, i'm going to show you now i'm just going to I, i'm going to the pick list center so when you when we click on it so even for the first time the pick list center when it was introduced uh, uh, you can create any of the pick list and then you can see these are all pick list when you open each of these pick list uh, objects and you will see the the values configured you know whether you configure a pick list whether you configure a pick list values that means the drop down reference values you know if you, if you no longer required anything we used to have an option called delete button you can delete also so you can delete or you can make a corrections and even now also you can make a corrections but what happened from quarter one and let us see the from the first half yearly of 2020 you can see here from first uh, let us say fifth june 2020 onwards you know there was a major change here you can see the major upgrade so you can no longer delete a pick list or pick list versions means pick list values but instead of a delete button you have a what is that deactivate button if you no longer required any pick list you can deactivate it but you cannot delete it because you know i'll tell you the simple thing when you configure some kind of data maybe in future if you are deleting there is an inconsistency within the data right so you may experience some kind of consequences uh, for any particular uh, uh, configuration has been done but here when you 
you know when you delete when you delete a pick list or pick list values you can't restore the data but instead of that when you deactivate a pick list or pick list values still you are able to re, you know restore the data and there is no inconsistency within your a pick list data you are going to configure for any of the corresponding objects like person objects related employment objects related and uh, generic objects related data through pick list center that is why you can see here there is a button here so you call this one as a, a deactivate button okay so here beside to the add button we used to have an option like delete so for example when i want to delete it and you can just go and click on it and then you can click on this uh, uh, you know delete but now it is no longer it is called deactivate you can see when i put my cursor there and you can see the display text there right which means if you want if you no longer required it you can deactivate it but instead of that up to before uh, 5th june of 2020 we used to have a, a delete option instead of this uh, deactivate button so even when you click on that pick list and you just go and click on it and you are able to see the some of the pick list values uh, configured even with the corresponding language label as well you can see here when you click on this uh, translate uh, button you can configure it but uh, here you know maybe you want to remove it still here also you have no delete option rather you see here as a delete option and even at the top of the page you can see here as well a deactivate instead delete button so what do you understand now you can no longer delete any pick list you are going to configure through pick list center it can be a generic related or if your person objects or employment objects everything you are going to configure if only in the pick list center so you can directly call all these pick lists as you know like a generic uh, pick list only so if you want to edit uh, something like let us say you can select it and you can go and click on it let us say you want to change the code or you want to change the this is a legacy pick list idea i'll tell you this in the maybe next time what is it and i'll give you some different scenarios and uh, so you may get more clarity and there is a one more thing that i want to tell you is uh, for example as i told you at the beginning of this session that uh, the the pick list you know they are migrated to generic area you know to pick list center and you know during the upgrade of 1905 that all the generic uh, let us see all the legacy pick list we used to configure through a pick list management through a dot csv template so they are migrated in the background but there is some kind of some issues that you may experience not now i i don't think now you are experiencing all that but uh, you know we used to have a kind of issue that a kind of system error that means all the uh, migrated uh, a pick list are not successfully converted into a pick list center so what you have to do is you have to go to the provisioning and then you have to create a job and then you need to select the job type as a pick list migration to mdf and then this is what exactly the screenshot if you see so you'll be able to get it exactly follow it and run it submit it sorry submit first and run it and automatically periodically your job uh, you know background job is going to run only once and all the legacy pick lists are going to be migrated to a pick list center that is why for example if you if you want to see which are all the legacy pick lists migrated you know you want to see it right maybe i'm going to click on one of the existing pick list and when i open the values as well and you can see this is something coming from the your legacy pick list id this is a system generated one this has come from your employment and person objects that where we used to configure through a pick list management and this is the legacy pick list id right so i hope it is uh, clear to everyone and um, so hope this session helps you with uh, some kind of uh, inputs and uh, go through it uh, those who are interested and hope it helps everyone thank you so much bye everyone See you next time.